Should you buy the 2023 Lenovo Legion Pro 5 or the 2022 Lenovo Legion 5 Pro? Two amazing laptops. I think you'll be shocked at how close the performance is between these two laptops. Let's dive right into the usability and functionality of the laptop, and then we'll get into the performance benchmarks where I think you'll be shocked at the difference between these two laptops. Now, first and foremost, we did see some changes from 2022 to 2023. We have an aluminum top cover on both laptops. However, we see an aluminum bottom cover on the 5 Pro for 2022, where we see a plastic bottom cover for the Pro 5 in 2023. So actually, it's slightly downgraded because the aluminum bottom cover actually shifted up to the Pro 7 model in the Legion lineup. However, you still have a plastic keyboard deck on the 5 Pro and you have a plastic keyboard deck on the Pro 5, Whereas with the seven, you have the aluminum top cover, bottom cover, and keyboard deck. So really what was removed was the aluminum bottom cover in 2023. Now, from a keyboard standpoint, they look very similar. However, the keys feel a little softer on the 23 model compared to the 22. The 22 has a little bit more of the plasticky kind of chiclet key feel. The keys have gotten a nice upgrade in 23, a little bit quieter compared to 22. Now, I'm going to give you a quick audio sample of me using both the keyboard and trackpad so you can hear what those sound like in use. The trackpad is the same size and very, very similar as far as the design and feel is. It sounds a tiny bit more dampened, I think, on the 23 model compared to the 22 model. So if you want a quieter keyboard for the typing and trackpad experience, I would go for the 23 model. Now going ahead and looking at the screens, we have the exact same panel from 22 to 23. However, the panel lays down flat, well, almost flat, for the 23 model, whereas the 22 stops at that kind of 45 degree angle. So a nice little bonus there for the 23 model. No matter where you are, what coffee shop you're at, you can move it and uh, align it for how it works best for you. Now, here's a quick sample of the webcams. I don't think they changed, but just in case you can see both of them in use. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. And for the speakers, here's a quick audio sample of the speakers so you can hear what those sound like. Now going ahead and taking a look at the ports, this is one area of discussion that a lot of people have preferred the 22 model over the 23 model. We have two USB type C's on the right side panel for 22 and a USB A and a USB C for 23. Flip over the laptops to the right side panel. We have the same configuration for 22 and 23. USB type A, headphone jack, and manual cutoff switch for the webcam. Now as we move to the back panel, we also see the same configuration. Power adapter, two USB type A's, HDMI, USB-C, and a network port. So the biggest difference is that they gave you more USB type A's on the 23 model instead of the USB type C's. I personally like the USB type C additions. I don't need more USB type A's personally. I think the USB type C's are more practical as we're moving more and more to USB type C and it's a faster port. Now there was a bit of design change from 2022 to 2023. As you can see, it's got this nicer kind of rounded, less chintzy plasticky 
edge here on the 23 model. This is kind of thin. I really never liked taking apart the laptop because this whole section kind of came off. So whenever you take apart the laptop, this whole back section with the ports comes off. With the 23 model, you take off the bottom cover and it's just this bottom cover piece. It's not the whole back vent. Um, so they really slim that out. That I really like as far as the design change is concerned. I think it was a really good move on Lenovo's part to thin out this big chunky back bezel and make it to where you don't have to pull off the entire back bezel to upgrade the RAM. So that was a really nice touch. Now they are both plastic. And so there's no upgrade going from 22 to 23 in that regard. But for me, the less chunkiness was an upgrade. Now taking a look at the 2023 model, the screen did get a bit of an upgrade, about 537 nits at full brightness, 100% sRGB, 80% Adobe RGB, and 80% DCI-P3, all at a Delta E of 0 0.37. Now the 2022 model is no slouch, but it's not as bright or color accurate, but still a great panel. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of 2022 versus 2023, I'll put links in the description below. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I tested these two laptops with slightly different configurations. And the reason being is I wanted to see if we could make a 2022 model perform on par with a 2023 model. So all that I did was swap out the 16 gigs of RAM for 32 gigs of RAM in the 22 model. The 23 model has 16 gigs of RAM because the 23 model has the RTX 4070, the 22 model has the RTX 3070 Ti. So I wanted to try and bring them on par with one another. Now, through my research, the 22 model can be found for around the $1,500 price point, and the 23 model, for the way I have it configured, is around the $1,800 price point. So you could be saving around $300 by going with the 2022 model. That might be advantageous to you. Now, before we jump into the performance benchmarks, the battery life is so insanely similar on these two laptops. So you won't be getting an advantage by choosing either of them for battery life. That kind of disappointed me because we had a lot of talk about Ryzen 7000 being more efficient, but as I saw in my battery life results, it did not make a difference. Now let's go ahead and jump into the simulated benchmark so you can see the correlation between the two laptops. Personally, I don't really like these tests. I like the real world ones, but I know you'll get mad at me if I don't post them. So here is the Geekbench single core and multi-core as well as Cinebench R23. that's out of the way, let's get into the things that really matter. Taking a look at Blender Classroom, you can see with the RTX 3070 in the 2022 model, we scored a 931. And with the RTX 4070 in the 2023 model, we scored a 1081. So a slight advantage by going with the 2023 model. However, in 3D modeling, I was shocked to see them almost exactly the same on every single test. You can see on Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks. They're within 20 points of each other on all of the tests. And now remember, this is RTX 3070 Ti versus RTX 4070. Now going down and looking at Photoshop, you can see the 2023 model scored a 1,102, and the 2022 model scored a 1,160. Now this is again, 32 gigs of RAM versus 16 gigs of RAM. If you were to upgrade the 23 model to 32 gigs of RAM, you would increase the performance to 1,228. Eight, but still, that is so close comparatively with going for an entire generation upgrade, getting Ryzen 7000, getting RTX 40 series, and you're still only about 100 points faster 
inside of Photoshop. So definitely advantageous choosing either model, but if you can get the 2022 on a deal, why, why, why not? Now, a lot of people have said, well, RTX 40 series is going to continue to level up over the next couple of years. So if you buy the 2023 model, you get RTX 40 series, you get all the software updates, and so you have more ceiling to grow with the laptop. Whereas RTX 30 series, they're gonna still offer support for it, but you won't see the growth in the software updates with the hardware. I do agree with that. With the updates that will come with 40 series, the performance will get better, but will it get that much better to actually make a difference for you from a financial standpoint? You have to make that decision. Next, we're gonna take a look at the DaVinci Resolve export. You can see a five minute and 27 second export out of DaVinci Resolve for 2023 versus a six minute and 13 second export out of the 2022 model. Now going ahead and taking a look at Premiere Pro, two minutes and 52 seconds out of 2022 and two minutes and 26 seconds out of 2023. So not a huge advantage there, almost 30 seconds. So that's pretty good, but nothing in the minutes. Now heading into video editing playback for Premiere Pro, I was shocked to see these results. For 6K B-RAW playback, the 23 model had 49 drop frames in Premiere Pro, whereas the 2022 model with the RTX 3070 Ti had zero drop frames for 6K B-RAW and 243 drop frames for 6K red footage. Now for 6K red footage out of the 2023 model, we saw 102 drop frames. So really this is splitting hairs because you won't notice either of those drop frames in my opinion, in my editing experience, they do not show a big difference when you have 100 drop frames out of 16,177 in the project. Um, so that's not a huge difference, but it was incredible to see a 2022 model keep up or even pass by about 50 drop frames, the 2023 model, meaning that it is still absolutely a fantastic buy for anybody looking for a laptop for video editing, After Effects, Photoshop, 3D modeling, Blender, and a lot of other programs you could be using. Should you purchase the 2022 or 2023? In my opinion, from a design standpoint, the 2023 really stands out. I love the new rounded edges. I like how easy it is to take off the bottom cover. It just looks a little bit more refined this year. This hard 90 degree angle, I just haven't really ever liked it. It's just, it's just a little too cheap looking, a little too plasticky. This has a much more refined look, even though it's plastic, it looks more high quality in the 2023 model. However, with that in mind, I would be absolutely happy to save around $300 by choosing the RTX 3070 Ti version from 2022. So for me, that savings could be an advantage. And for you, it might be as well. As you saw, the performance was nearly neck and neck when you equipped the 2022 model with 32 gigs of RAM. And that could be very advantageous to many users looking to save a little bit of money with their budget. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you here in the next one.